To paint your Egyptian cartouche plaque, you'll need black paint, paintbrush, a marker mat so you don't get black paint on the table, and of course your project. Dip your brush and do the sides of your plaque first. You don't need to do the back, but make sure that you, you wrap around to the edge a little bit, the edge a little bit, just so that there's no white showing from the sides. Now you can lay your plaque down carefully and do the surface. You want to twirl your brush a bit just in circles and skim it over the surface. That way you'll get into all the texture, all those little nooks and crannies. Keep your brush straight up and down. Don't use the side of your brush. It damages the bristles. It permanently bends them. Continue doing this until your entire plaque is completely covered. No white spots. It dries fairly quickly, but there might be some areas that have clumps of paint on that will take a long time to dry. So when you're done, just brush over those and check for any white spots that still might be visible and get down into that hole also. I'm going to turn it around and look from different angles. Oh, sure enough, I see some white spots. To speed up the drying process, you might want to take a piece of cardboard and fan the project. If you're the last one done, be sure to cover the paint and wash your brush, triple wash it with soap so all the black paint comes out. So the next person that uses it, you won't contaminate their paint with black. When you think your project is completely dry, then come up to me and I'm going to give you some rub and buff. And that is a gold paste. I'm not going to give you very much. This should be enough for the entire project. You take your finger and just on the edge, just dab a little bit, just get a tiny bit. And then take your thumb and your pointer finger and just rub it together like that. Then you're just going to Then you're just going to rub it. Always remember to rub your fingers together to get a thin layer. You're going to rub it in circular motion all over the surface. And I'm going to take my thumb even and get that on there. The gold creates a nice contrast to the black recessed areas. And now you can see your design. This is a perfect example of what contrast can do for your art projects. It makes things show up. A little bit and then rub. Continue to do that until your whole plaque is covered. Avoid making big gobs or streaks. So always remember to do this. And just use your pointer and your thumb because this is hard to get off. It's easier to clean two fingers than five. If you have extra, just keep using it until it's all gone. Now you're ready to put it on a white piece of paper and take a picture of it for Art Sonia. To clean your finger, you need a solvent. And I'm going to give each table a little piece of toweling with that solvent on it. And then just rub that off. Then go to the sink and wash your hands with soap and water. Return this to me with the rag. All these need to be disposed of so that they don't make the room stinky. Be sure to clean your brush and put your marker mat back in the marker mat box. Do your best work.